Hello everyone. Welcome to the island. Taj is not here, so whoops. Let's do that over. All right, I'm doing a collab with Head to Tail Barbecue and Cooking. Um, he is doing an Alabama steak and cheese, and I am doing the Mississippi steak and cheese since he's in Alabama, and duh, I'm in Mississippi. Um, long story short, Indians and pilgrims. I'm going to say Philadelphia and Mississippi. So Mississippi be the Indians. The Philadelphia will be the pilgrims. They stole the steak and cheese from us, okay? It used to be called Swiss Miss. Swiss Mississippi. You get it? Okay, now it's on the internet. This video is on the internet. It has to be true because I said it. So with that said, I'm going to go outside, pick the vegetables, and then put this knife down so I don't hurt myself. Okay? Let's go outside. Okay, outside about to um, get some vegetables. I got my um, box here. Um, I'm pick it from the garden. Um, that's just one thing about this uh, Mississippi uh, Swiss and Miss. Shit. GoPro, stop recording. <laughs> Met it outside. It's about 102 degrees in the shade. Um, got my empty box here. I'm gonna go pick some vegetables from the garden. Um, that's one thing that's kind of like. <laughs> A lot of people don't do this uh, Swiss Miss anymore uh, because it takes a lot of work to do, but the payoff is very rewarding. Um, I have a lot of uh, veggies to get. I have to get some meat, um, so the neighbor owes me some money. I'm going to go take care of that. Uh, we'll talk about that later. Uh, but let me uh, head out here and talk to the chickens while I'll uh, get these veggies for you. Hey ladies, hey ladies. Okay, in the garden, here's my line that I run um, the wire through the tomato cages so they don't blow over in the wind. Works out really great. I was just out here um, yesterday picking tomatoes and other vegetables. So I know the tomatoes, we might not have any red tomatoes, um, but we can we can check. We, we definitely have uh, green tomatoes. Um, I have plenty of those, but I make the uh, pickled green tomatoes and the chow chow with those. Here is, I see a uh, red tomato here. They're not very large, but they will do. That's what she said. I'm gonna need a few more of those of that size, so let me get those into my box. Now we're gonna search for some green tomatoes, which I'm pretty sure there's plenty of those out here. And like I said, here are some here, two bigger ones, that'll do. Next off, uh, I guess, I guess bell peppers. No, no pineapple. Pineapple doesn't even go on pizza. It's not going to go on this. Um, you know what? Let's go over to the squash of zucchini. I see a freaking big zucchini, so that will do. I'm going to need one of those. 
Show them over to the bell peppers. And what do I see here? A freaking huge bell pepper. So just one of those as well. I'll throw that in my box to go with the rest of the vegetables. And we want some color in here. So let's, oh, look at this. We got a, we have a, oh, this is very, very unique. They, they usually grow separate, but they're all in one. So that, that worked out great. Okay, I want to dig up some um, onions. If you didn't um, have any onions in your garden, that's just uh, something that uh, that you want to have, onions and garlic. Um, I don't have garlic this year, but I do have plenty of onions. Okay, we are at the watermelon patch. I have some other stuff here as well, but here is a watermelon. I'm not sure if that's going to do. Um, let's search uh, for some more, because that, uh, no. No, I'll pass on that one. Um, here's a blossom here. I got a lot of blossoms, so I know there's a lot of watermelons about to be happening here. Um, I did notice a nice size one over here. Uh, let's, let's take a look, see, and see if this one will do. Size. It's not full grown yet, but no, nah, the color's not there. Let's uh, search a little bit. Oh, yeah, look at this. Yes, already ready to go. I tell you what, I do some good planting. Okay, let's let's uh, go back to the house. Oh, let's get some honey. I see why they don't do this as much. It's freaking hard to do. But yes, they came through, so I got my honey. Okay, it's time to get the meat got to have the meat so she said about wanting the meat whatever you know what I'm talking about well the neighbor just left with church yes it's Sunday um, it, it's fishing but the boat's name is church okay long story but uh, he owes me money I traded him a billy goat with three legs and a chicken that lays an egg once every blue moon um, but he, he agreed to it he was drunk had a lot of stuff going on but uh he shook on it when you shake on something it's a deal okay so he owes me I'm gonna go ahead and get interest he still owes me but this is interest so I'm gonna feel better about him still owing me um, there it is right there. Ooh. I don't know why I made that freaking noise. I'm putting a uh, sound effect in. Let's do it over. Cut, cut, cut. Okay, that's one. Scared the chickens. I'm going for two. Breathe out. Breathe in. Okay. You want to do it when you breathe out. Okay, let's get. Okay. 
Yeah, I got it. Let's get back home. All right. I'm almost back in the clear and I have everything, everything I need for it. Back to the patio. Free, free bumblebee. If you don't know what that means, you haven't had a good childhood. Ali, Ali, oxen free, whatever that is. But we said free, free bumblebee. Okay. I'm back. I told you, just a neighbor right there. I saw him leaving with church. Okay. Man, that was something. Let me clean this lens off. Okay, okay, I'm gonna catch my breath. Those were bigger than I thought. Whatever, folks. Usually, their bun length. God dang it, I... Let's do it over. Usually they're not as big as this, but these are freaking bun length. Look at this. Look at this. It's upside down, but who cares? You know what I'm talking about. This is the real deal. The real deal right here. Okay. Let's go in and make this stuff, okay? I'm going to put this stuff in the dryer because I'm all freaking sweaty with this raw horsepower of this freaking muscle right here just perspiring. Let me, um, let me dry these clothes off, and then we're going to get to the video. Go post up recording. Make sure. All set up here, folks. Um, I am. I am think I'm ready. I have about everything I need. Uh, there's a couple of things I'm leaving off, but I'm trying to keep this PG. Um, if it was normal, um, I would mix baking grease and. Um, I'm doing that at the end. Jesus Christ. Okay. Do this over. Okay, back in the kitchen, folks. I think I have everything I need here. Um, as I said before, I'm doing collaboration with Head to Toe Barbecue and Cooking. Um, if you look in the corner right there, um, you can just click that link and go to his channel, or you can look in descriptions. I think it says more, M-O-R-E, at, right at the bottom of the video, and that's the descriptions that a lot of people don't know. There's a lot of vital information in there, but uh, with that vital information is uh, his uh, YouTube and his Facebook. Uh, no, it ain't. Just his YouTube, okay? Um, and also, at the end of the video, there's a hyperlink where you can just click that. So I'm trying to make it easy for you to go check his channel out. If you like it, please subscribe. Okay, well, we have the green bell peppers, the red, the, the yellow, and the orange. Uh, this is the quadfecta. Uh, I know that sounds like a stupid name, but somebody made trifecta up, so what's wrong with quadfecta, okay? Okay, I made it up. Um, Swiss Miss. Um, it... The vegetables are optional. Um, you have to have onions and you have to put some garlic in it, okay? Uh, other than that, whatever's in the garden, that's what makes this a Mississippi uh, staple uh, because whatever's out there, you don't want to go to waste. You don't just go out there and say, hey, you know what? I want a tomato salad today. Let's go out there and see how many tomatoes I got. No, you go out there and see what you got the most of or what you can make and just get it and bring it on in. Um, I think some guy with a stone makes some stone soup um, it's a big, it, it's a scam actually, but if you know about it, you know about it. If you don't, you might get scammed. But uh, if somebody comes to your house with a stone and asks you to make soup, call the police. Okay, um, so what we got out there, I got some zucchinis, but I'm not going to need this big zucchini. Uh, Tasha's at work, so I'm just cooking for me. So I have zucchini. I got two different kinds of tomatoes. Uh, this is a regular red tomato. I'm not sure what the name of it is. It's called a red tomato today. This one's called a Auburn tomato, okay? Whatever. I can just do this, I guess. Okay. There you go. And um, we got some green tomatoes. It wouldn't be 
Mississippi if it wasn't green tomatoes on there, okay? So you want to garnish that with green tomatoes at the end, but you want to dice a little bit up for uh, the pan. As I said, um, you have to have onions. Um, we have some honey for some reduction for the sauce. Um, I'm going to do that later, so I'll leave that to the side. If you're wondering what this big tub of ice cream, this is black raspberry. This is from Scoop DeVille. Okay, not Coop DeVille, but Scoop, like you're scooping ice cream, Scoop DeVille. Uh, this is in Royals Ford, uh, Pennsylvania. When I went to go see B.O.B., he gave me this. I needed a garbage bowl uh, for my compost heap, so I have some um, uh, coffee grounds in there now, but I'll put all the shavings and everything in here. The only thing I don't put in my compost heap is meat and cheese, because I eat those. Um, but other than that, whew, I'm still perspiring. I guess there's some extra salt going to be on this food. That's about all, I think. Uh, I'll get to the um, the cheese in a minute. Uh, that's what this is for. If you guys aren't old enough uh, to know what this is, this keeps kids busy um, for a while. So just say, hey, you need to churn some milk. Um, so if you want some curds and whey, um, if you want some cheese, that's what's happening here. So uh, you just crank this down. that and then cheese look at that Swiss perfectly Swiss perfect I've done this a couple times before folks okay but what I did before all this the first thing you have to do you have to have sweet tea okay and not any old sweet tea sun tea so what I did was uh, filled this jar up. It's a two gallon jar that I got from Amazon. Um, I think I have it in my Amazon recommendations uh, list under uh, cooking. Um, I, I don't, you're not buying it from me, but when you click the buy button, it goes straight to Amazon. It's just an easier way for you guys to find it if you want it. Um, but I put, I filled it with water, cold water, um, and you put one bag per gallon of uh, and I'll, I'll see if this is going to be a good uh, mix, but it says one bag per gallon of water. Um, if you want to do the, the, the regular method in the house without the sun, if you don't have a sun where you live, um, just do uh, one bag and then do boiling water of one quart of each bag and then put three quarts um, cold water in each bag after you're done with that. Uh, it, it gets directions. It has some words on the freaking box. You can check it out. Uh, but I would, what I did, three to five hours in the sun. You got to keep moving around, and you go out there and freaking keep on walking around and putting them in the in the sun if you got a lot of shade. Uh, but uh, that's what I did. So um, I went ahead and put it in the sun. I did put a plastic bag around the bottom spout so the ants don't get into that. It's probably the best thing to do. They need to make some kind of a, uh, sun tea spout cover up or thing. I should invent one, but probably somebody watching my channel that didn't fast forward might root the rewards and steal it and be a millionaire. Please send me a couple dollars if you do. Okay, now let's uh, let's get to chopping all this stuff up. Uh, the first thing you want to do is I'm going to say the bell peppers and the onions because it's going to take a little longer for that to cook. And we'll chop that off. Chop the ends. I chop the ends like so. Then I cut it in half. Bam. And just peel it off. Don't waste too much onions though. Some people peel too much off and uh, like they're rich and everything. I think the neighbor just came back with church. We'll hear it in a minute probably. Made a clean getaway, but hopefully the blood, blood trail didn't um, come this way. I zigzagged. Not my first rodeo. Okay, I'm going to chop this up. And what I do here is make some little incisions that way. And chop, 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 chop. Okay, you know the rest. I'll get the rest and, and magic. I'll do magic on this one. bowl you know what I'm not freaking cleaning all these bowls I don't know how Martha Stewart and all them people do it I'm just gonna drop it in the pan
Okay. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and mess these bowls up just for you, okay? Because what I wanna do is get some good shots with this camera on on the um uh, on the freaking you know what I'm talking about the goddamn stove. Okay, just for you guys, I'm gonna wash more dishes. Get this fancy thing over here real quick. Okay. There we go. Now we can scoop it up better. How the pros do it. Okay, I'm not going to chop all these, um, it's going to take too long, but what I do is actually just get the white part, it's a little bitter, like a bad relationship, so you want to get that out of there, and just chop these off, and that's pretty much it, Slice them really thin. You don't have to dice these up. You can leave these whole. Don't do this in your hands. Don't do what I do. Especially that. You know I lied to you. I'm chopping all this up. Gotta get all four colors in, make it all beautiful, eat with the eyes, that's what she, whatever. They do make smaller knives, and that's what to get this out if you need to get in there, really, really get in there and, and, and cut your fingers off. Because I almost did twice. I'm not going to use this knife after this one because it's scaring me. He's got a knife. That's not a knife. This is a knife. That's not a knife. That's a knife. How many times I can do that before I cut my hands off? Are you going to tune in to keep watching? Is that going to have you guys not fast forward to see if I'm going to cut my freaking fingers off? I know I scare you. So you can just roll it like this. There we go. That's the pro tip. There we go, like fish. Play a fish. I don't know how to do that because I don't catch fish, but I saw it on TV. I saw Tasha do it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I'm going to leave this for garnish. And I didn't do that with the freaking orange one. God dang it, I only got one orange. Well. Teach me. Okay, I'm gonna try. Oh, did it again, dang it. You don't have me cursing. I got a green one over here, but I don't have another orange. Trying to think about making this look pretty. Well, 
nothing I can do. Nothing I can do about it, folks. Okay, and hopefully you guys uh, check the Alabama steak and cheese out. It's probably a little better cooked than this one is. Um, I'm kind of in the middle of just trying to hurry up and do this, but I'm freaking hungry too, so I'm not being so dainty about it. Plus, Tasha's getting home soon, and she don't like me mess with these knives. So, got to take advantage as much as I can. Knife juggling. <laughs> you thought I was going to do it. Maybe later. Stay tuned. Got to keep you all not fast forwarding somehow. With my, I got to risk my life you guys not to do that. Okay. Okay, we got this right here. I'm going to leave this over here for later over here okay we got green tomatoes I'm gonna use this for a garnish I only need one of these I believe so other one who cares who cares I'm gonna do it it's all or nothing Guess I could have used the mandolin I got right over there, huh? Try to shoot this in 4K as well, guys. Um, I think I'm going to be getting a new computer here soon, so I think you can handle the 4K. Uh, I'm going to edit this one on my old computer, uh, the laptop, but hopefully the desktop that I'm getting is... Uh, is going to work better in 4K and I could start doing all my videos in 4K. I know at the bottom of the screen it might say it's in 4K. But that's how I edit it. I edit it in 1080 and ramp it up to, to 4K so it, it, it the resolution's a little better for you. But it's not true 4K. It used to be. But it just uh, takes a lot of time to, to edit. And it's like a Kung Fu. It's a Sunday Kung Fu theater. Uh, video because the voice in the video is off. Okay. I was gonna put mix all these together, okay? So that is screwed up. I was gonna do it separate so you could see it with that camera but okay. Peel this again I'm not going to put this up I might be able to use that tomato time we got the red tomatoes and the all burned tomatoes have a little, little uh, flavor difference here you don't want too many tomatoes or it's going to just be too juicy you want it juicy but not falling apart I got the bread in the oven so don't let me forget about that guys didn't show you the bread yet smelling good though so once it starts smelling like that that means the bread not me that means it's about done okay, 
get some more burns in here. Oh yeah, these things are probably delicious here. They're looking lovely. If you don't like the skins, um, then just leave it out. Okay, next we have the meat from next door. Well, you know what? Let me let me get this. Get this zucchini. I was going to use the uh, mandolin, but that'll be one thing I have to freaking clean. What I'm going to do is make a boat out of this. I don't want all the seeds and the kind of doughy inside. The inside is kind of like marshmallowy and I don't want that. Okay. I know I'm scaring you with this knife, but don't worry. I gotcha. You can also use a spoon too and spoon it out. Um, just take my word for it, okay? Because you can do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to take a risk cutting my fingers off. Okay, we are good to go. Let's cut some slivers and then chop it up. Nothing to it but to do it. Get another bowl for these. Liver. Okay. Okay. okay, you guys wanted a cooking video and I had to bring one to you. Um, I probably I have another one in mind to do. Um, just give me a Give me a couple weeks and I think I can have that to, uh, going too. Keep forgetting I got these over there. Okay. All right, now I have the beef. Bam. And I'm doing the meat last on the board because you really don't want to do meat and veggies together. But I'm, I'm cooking it all together, folks. Let me take a little sample there. Okay. okay. Might as well do both. Get rid of the evidence. Okay, you can do this, and, and this is what I was going to keep this with. You can do this and just, there we go. You can get little slivers like this, but it's going to be harder to do once you keep going. It's going to gum up on here probably, so let's, uh, let's not use the mandolin. I'm still against using that. I do not want to clean that thing. That's what she said. <laughs> There you go. That's all you gotta do. About four slivers in each of them. Four or five. Okay, I'm gonna get all these done and then we'll be ready to get the grill going. Not the grill, you know what I'm talking about. The god dang stove. If I say stuff wrong, guys, and you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Just go with it, okay? Just go with it. Real Swiss Miss. Okay. All right, get this going and I'll see you at the stove.
Okay, it's time for the um, glaze. So that's what I said. That's the fresh, very fresh watermelon that you saw me get from the garden. Look at this. Look at this beauty. I'm not going to use the whole uh, watermelon, but I'll save Tasha. There we go. Tasha can have that half. And I am going, this is seedless, uh, but it still has white seeds in it, so they lied to you. It is got seeds. Just smaller white seeds is all. I'm going to save this for the chickens. The chickens love the rind too, and you can pickle that as well. So all you got to do is chop this in. Oh, almost chopped this pink instead of this pink. Okay, here we go, guys. I know it's not the best view in a house, but that's what she said. Get it all in there. And accidentally don't put it all in so you can take a little nibble. Where'd my pan go? Okay, here we go. Got this pan here, and what I'm gonna do is move all this over to here. Let me move this camera. And all I'm gonna do is cut the burner on, and this has a lot of sugar in it, guys, so you do not want to burn this. Let me go ahead and get this in. Heat this up a little bit. This is a little colder than the honey. But there we go. And I'm gonna grab the honey and get a nice big dollop. If you don't know about honey guys, you wanna get your local honey if you're allergic to flowers around your area because the bees actually pollinate from the plants around your house and it helps you out. So if you get honey from five hours away, it might not really help you as much as the local honey. So fun fact, there we go. I got three big spoonfuls and it's already getting fluffy on me. So that means it's going to heat up quick. Okay. You want to bring it almost to a bowl, not quite to a bowl, and then just shut it off. So there we go. I think it's good. There we go. Okay, time to get the bread. I'm going to get the bread out and we'll assemble this real quick. So let me get a plate as well. Um, just use this. Get this out. Hot, 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 hot. Here's the bread. Nice and lovely. Fresh. Oh yeah, look at that. That came out perfect. do half of one of these. There go. I don't want to cut it on this. There we go. It's half. Do this for later. Okay. Luna just came in, so she's being a little loud, so sorry about that, guys. She's trying to eat, too. I'm going to let her in a little later. I know she's going to be wanting some of this food. Here we go. Okay. 
Okay. And then, let's go with this. Some of this on here. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful colors. Put the garlic in last, like I said, because it'll get real bitter if, uh, if you don't do that. Um, and what I usually do um, is put the oven on to melt the cheese right on top. So I'll go ahead and put that back on, broil. Make sure everything's out. Then put the cheese right on top. Okay, it's not a Swiss miss without the Swiss. Okay, let's get that in there. Okay, let's get it in and then I'll show you the end result. Okay, it is out. Let me uh, go here. I want to burn this thyroid. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we get it squared off for you. Let me get this stuff put away. Okay, now we got the little drizzle going on here, so let me uh, get that watermelon, honey watermelon drizzle on top. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, I just made it right there, guys. Okay. And the trick is the onions and bell peppers, some raw ones on top for a little bit of crunch. Okay, and there is the Swiss mess. There you go. Okay. Okay, pretty as a picture. Let me get a video of this for you guys. And I'll taste it. Oh, baby. Okay, here's the end result. As you saw the um, sexy sex um, shot. But there you go. Take the garnishes off. And give this a... Give this a little taste. I guess I'm just going to have to go in like this. Mm. Oh yeah. Okay. That's... If you guys tasted one of these and you tasted a Philadelphia steak and cheese you'll know that this is the original of how this tastes freaking fabulous i might even lying today mm. oh yeah actually i was just doing the watermelon honey to be funny about it it's good Mm. I gotta hurry up and go live um, for the Friday night live but I'll probably end up eating this in the live because it tastes really good and I don't want to waste it and uh, I will talk to you guys later but please check out head to tail barbecue and cooking check his uh, check the link in the descriptions uh, really appreciate doing this collab with him really great guy um, so thanks again, John, for saying yes, and uh, please check his video out. Um, he did the Alabama steak and cheese and see how he did his. Thank you very much. Talk to you later. 
Okay, guys, I was about to go live, but I forgot to show you the tea. So here is the sweet tea, the sun tea. It's not sweet tea until I do my sweet and low, but I'm not trying to lose weight. Um, I just like the taste of sweet and low. Okay, give it, a, give it a couple packs. Oh, first sun tea I had since my mama's house. Reminds me of Mama's house. She always had sun tea and sweet and low on the table. Oh, uh, okay, guys. With that said, I'll talk to you later. Hey, thanks for watching the video again. If you haven't visited my website yet, um, the, the address is www.dougarbagedisposalstore.com. You can navigate through the top, all these links right here. Um, there is actually a question and comment form. If you have any questions or comments, uh, fill that out and it'll go straight to my email at the very bottom there is a free newsletter just sign up for right here um, and you will get a weekly newsletter so uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel what are you waiting on hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell hit see all so you get all the notifications and don't miss the videos please comment i like to um, listen to your comments uh, and respond to you so i do like to interact with you guys uh, Please share the video with your friends, family, even your boss, and have a great day. Let's meet other plans.